This is uh, Morten from Inkish, and uh, today I have the pleasure of talking to my good friend Alicia from uh, uh, Rochester in uh, in uh, in New York. So, uh, Alicia, welcome to Inkish. Thank you, Martin. I'm so pleased to be here. I'm more pleased than you because I think <laughs> that we have actually, uh, over the years, we have exchanged recipes. Uh, we have shared uh, photos. You have, uh, I think it's your husband that is from from uh, Lithuania, and and I think the very first time we met each other was in a uh, panel debate at one of the print shows or graph mm-hmm. expo shows. Yep. So uh, in a way, we go back a long time, right? We do. Um, but at the same time, uh, we have not. I don't think we ever sat down like this and talked about you, right? It's more about the companies that we were right. that we have been talking about. So, First. so who 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 are you? <laughs> uh, I'm a marketer. I'm a builder. Um, I've been in marketing or sales or lead generation my entire career, uh, software for quite a while uh, in the print industry now for about 14 years. And uh, do you feel the same thing? I I, I I do think I know the answer to it, but is it like uh, uh, either you hate or you love the printing industry, right? Oh, I don't know anybody that hates it. <laughs> <laughs> I, neither do I, but I mean that is. I mean, you go into the industry, and even sometimes for people that have never been in the industry, they they just get caught by a lot of nice people, uh, print samples. Uh, I think it has a very collaborative mindset in 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 our yeah. industry. So, so yeah. it, does that resonate with how you see it as well? Oh yeah, definitely. You know, I think all all boats rise together. So. And that's that's one of the things. The people is, I think, one of the things that I look for a lot in the relationships. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, though you are not an uh, influencer in, let's say, the traditional kind of thinking of influencing, I see you in many different places. You are, uh, you have been very active with uh, with uh, with your previous company in, in mm-hmm. at, at trade shows, at uh, user events, and and uh, also commenting on uh, uh, not just my articles and my films, but in general. So, do you consider yourself a very curious person, or how do you see yourself in that perspective? Hmm, interesting. I never really thought of myself as an influencer. I used to work with a coach, and she called it portable equity. Right? You, you, you build those relationships and the how-to and the framework to make things happen. And and if you're like me, and you maintain those relationships over time, then you're able to move those forward as equity, if you will. Mm. Um, you know, to help yourself and to help others. So, mm. yeah. But but that is also good because I take that that equity you learn from it, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, absolutely. And mm-hmm. I'm a sharer, so that's part of why I comment. So, and I try to mm-hmm. sort of virtually connect people. Um, somebody called me a, a human router once. <laughs> That's not the, the worst name to be, right? Or to have, right? So <laughs> it's great. So uh, when you look at, uh, we're going to talk about your new job in a second. But when we mm-hmm. look at at the U.S. person and 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 your, I call it curiosity, and and I, I like that what your coach said. But do you think that also in your work you can professionally use uh, all the network and the connections you have to bring your next company forward? Oh, absolutely, doing it already. Mm-hmm. And how how do you do that? Is that just by reaching out and people talk to them, yeah. or do you use them in yeah. in, in a specific way? Or uh, yeah, expertise people with specific uh, specific expertise, you know, PR or communications or videos or website, whatever. Yeah. Mm. Mm-hmm. So even though you're only a couple of days old in your in your <laughs> new uh, position, you have already started to to bridge to your network to both let them know that you've changed, but also to uh, facilitate that in your new job. Uh, a little bit. Um, we're we're working on, or I'm working on a reveal. We'll call it. So. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yep. I remember once I met you. I think it was actually maybe at the first printing united back in in dallas in 19. Mm-hmm. Yeah. i think you said to me uh, that i like your films yeah. but uh, i work for a company that only uh, delivered uh, solutions to implants which we have never really been working so right. much on right. um uh, is it is it sometimes difficult to find the right channels to communicate in i mean because as a marketing manager you have you have a message uh, you need to get it to the right people so i was just wondering how difficult is that no, I think we're fortunate, you know, and, and now I'm in a different company, so the channels are are, are different. Um, but we're fortunate that we have some sort of specialists in the industry, so you can really get to that target. Um, so I don't I don't know that it's 
hard, um, but sometimes it can be challenging with specific segmentation, as you know, you know, mm. printing and, and mail is this wide. Get mm. my hands in the, <laughs> in the camera here. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> But but I mean uh, the reason I'm asking these questions is like because I mean if you if you if you talk specifically to implants it is implant you have to figure out how to get to right if you and now with your new company let's just talk about that right away it's a, a BCC software mm -hmm. and and you said it has a tag of being like a a, a blue what was it a blue um, a blue crest company yep blue crest company yeah yes so it was so okay. when you have that now it is a a software company specialized in in mailing services and, and the mailing and sorting software thing like that mm -hmm. is that is that must be a little bit more difficult because now it's a much wider audience so suddenly right yeah yeah yep and it's it's all postal it's it's not necessarily just printers but it's people who offer postal services and you know, many of which also mail yeah so different audience so i'm like you said a few days into it and figuring it all out Mm. When you um, decided to uh, to apply for the job, and you, I guess there was like some kind of review process uh, for both parties. Uh, what was the main reason for you to to take on this challenge? Because it is quite different from your previous job, right? Yeah, um, I think it was just presenting the opportunity to paint on a larger canvas. Mm. Um, the company's you know twice the size. Um, it's related, so I knew I could leverage some of um, the marketing mechanisms that I have. I know some of the people in the industry, so that made it a little bit easier to make that change. So, and yeah. and when when you say that it is a little bit easier for you to make that change because you you know you can use some of the uh, the tools that you have in uh, in your toolbox, uh, is mm -hmm. that also why they chose you? Because I mean, it must be nice to have somebody who has some kind of experience that can bring. Uh, their products forward. Uh, right. I, I was just wondering, was that part of the conversation? Yeah, yeah, yeah. industry contacts and, and knowing at least the printing industry, not coming in completely as an unknown. Yeah. Mm -hmm. so. And and uh, it, of course, it's very very soon in, in in that frame. But but is it something that you have? I take that from you got the job till you actually started. You had some time where you could uh, think about what you wanted to do and how you want to achieve it. So uh, is it a is a is a is it a big difference from the previous company in how you want to achieve your objectives or how how how, how are you going forward? I mean, basically, I, I think that sometimes people forget that uh, marketing is about spending uh, two small budgets efficiently to get as many leads as possible, right? <laughs> right, right, absolutely, yeah. So, so, that, so I was just wondering, uh, yeah. So I was just wondering if you had time to speculate about uh, what tools you you want to to use to achieve that. I don't know that it's so much about tools. Some of it's, I guess, mechanisms. Um, you know, this this company is very CRM centric. Um, so everything works and there's more uh, marketing automation. Um, so there's mapping through that and figuring out the best way to leverage it. Um, so, you know, there's some difference, difference there and we're in software. So we should, should have some automation in place, right? Uh, <laughs> you, you should expect it, right? So, so basically that means that when you go out to, let's say you do a mail campaign or you do a trade show or you do an advertising campaign or whatever you do, uh, then you have very good opportunities of tracking data and yep. actually use that in a CRM system to yep. follow up on, on people. That's what you say, right? Yep. Yep. Track it, mm. you know, lead attribution. Is there a sale? Where is it at in the pipeline? All that. Yep. Mm. And if you, when you work in a company that does uh, mail software, does it doesn't mean that you uh, anticipate only to use mail in your communication. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good question, isn't it? <laughs> I was just, I was just kidding a little bit because I think uh, I, I remember when we did Inkish, I remember that people were joking a little bit that okay, you are doing uh, films about print, but you don't have anything in print yourself, and uh, and I was like, okay, this is sometimes you have to use the tools that are most efficient for different tasks, right. and I think that right. uh, what what we have done with Inkish is on a on a, to be honest, a very tiny budget over the years, and still achieved. I think some recognition in the market and I, I, it's always like using the tools and as you say, the mechanisms that are right in order right. to achieve your objective. So, so right. um, I take that mail at least is one component in it, right? Mm -hmm. Yep. So, uh, Alicia, um, 
the the company you work for uh, as again I'm, I'm totally aware that it's uh, new for you so next time we meet uh, i'm sure that you will have more experience with it and, and can tell much more um what is the male sort where you do it? what is the let's say the 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 core uh, ideology or the core competence of the software right. can you talk about that sure briefly um again a couple of days into this um So it's really around helping customers reduce um, the uncertainty um, that's that's happening um, and navigating through um, the postal system, um, reducing um, costs and, mecha- and maximizing discounts, um, increasing the speed, um, reducing undeliverable mail. Um, the compliance is huge. Um, mm-hmm. That definitely has to happen. Um, And you know, delivering it with really excellent support. Um, mm-hmm. We're unusual in that we have a lot of certified uh, experts um, that are mm-hmm. certified by the postal system. So they're oh, kind really? of an extension. Okay. Yeah. So that I think makes the company pretty unique. Um, mm-hmm. So not only have they been around a long time, um, they also have these these experts on staff. So they're an extension of somebody's staff. Mm-hmm. Um, you know. And, sorry. Go ahead. No, no, I was just wondering because, I mean, I come from a small country where we have only one postal service. So, right. so in, in my country, it, it, it doesn't really make sense to, 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 uh, I mean, of course, it makes sense to, to have your data correct. But I was just wondering, uh, I think that American customers, they used to have a lot of different levels of postal services and maybe also competitors. So you can, you can, is that what you do? Is that basically helping people to, you know, this is good for the USPS and this is good for X and this is good for Y or what is it? No, that you do? no. Okay. So the uh, USPS has um, discount programs. Um, ah, okay. So that so is a better of getting things sorted out. So it fits the best discounts basically. Yes, and and certifying that there's compliance. Uh, there's a time limitation on compliance to certain regulations and what the the cost of the postage is. Um, so they like to say we keep customers out of jail. <laughs> okay, <laughs> so basically to make sure that you have something that is uh, complying to yes. the regulations. Yes. So yes. when it is delivered to the USPS, for example, then right. basically you can be certain that it has been sorted the way that you promised. UPS to do it basically. Yes, and it, it meets regulations. It's going to be this cost, and that uh, it's it's definitely this cost. Mm. Yeah. Um, when I look at the market like this, is that a competitive market? I mean, do do uh, BCC software have a lot of competition, or is it a unique uh, value proposition you offer? Um, I, I can't speak to the competition really. Um, but I can tell you that you know we're the industry leader. Our solutions okay. uh, improve deliverability and reduce postage on about a quarter of the U.S. mail stream every year. Okay, that's uh, pretty impressive, right? Because it's uh, as, as again, it's a, a huge country with a, a large number of uh, of envelopes being posted, of course, <laughs> right? <laughs> so as you got it, yeah, yeah. So so when you when you work in a company like BCC is. Um, Is it a matter of getting the 75% that you're not covering right now as a service provider, or is it also just keeping just importation uh, like the brand value? Uh, the reason I'm asking is because when I talk to marketing people, I always think it's quite interesting because in my opinion, <laughs> you may disagree, but in my opinion, marketing is about two things. One thing is, is preserving, maintaining and enhancing your brand and your Uh, brand recognition in the market and the other part is the let's say the product marketing where you need to have some ROI and some you know right. uh, turnaround and and you so you basically can one thing can be measured easily the other thing cannot be measured so easily is where do you see your role and and, and you are you are your objective in in uh, PCC software's uh, uh, marketing approach oh, there's both there's definitely an emphasis on on sales and the sales can be organic and within our current base. As you know, with software, there are continually changes. Um, so it's moving people forward with those changes, either in, in der- the underlying technology or um, there's been a couple of companies that we purchased for specific okay. reasons and then integrating those products and then presenting customers with solutions with a great interface, but also uh, handle all of that compliance and the optimization. Um, so there's Customers definitely that you know we're looking to move upstream, um, just like with with printing. Um, Postal is experiencing you know people um, with mergers and acquisitions, and as you consolidate, then you may have larger mail volumes that need more sophisticated solutions. And with automation and uh, reducing processing time, just like printing, there aren't as many people in the industry. 
Um, so some of those same sort of things you hear in printing are also happening in, in mailing. Hmm. Um, one of the things that uh, you probably recognize from, from Europe is that in Europe, uh, at least in the northern part of Europe, it seems very much that that a lot of postal, let's say the mailing and postal services are going electronic way. And therefore you see a reduced, especially from banks, insurance companies, uh, health, uh, governmental kind of things is, is, is literally down to almost zero. Um, but in the, in the US, it seems that that the, the the mail is something that people have a lot of uh, trust in, and it seems that it is also from legislation part of of the of the side something that right. keeps for many many years. How is that something that you address in also in BCC software? Because I guess that whatever you feel about uh, the physical mailing, probably in some period of time it might some of it might change to electronic communication depending on you know. Uh, generations of <laughs> preference and, right. and yeah. all those kinds of things. So is that something that you you know whether that is something that plays a role in, in how BCC software see their role in the future? Yeah, I mean, yes, the postal volume is not increasing, just like volume and printing isn't increasing. So that that is part of it. Like I said, with the, the mergers and acquisitions, that um, you have to be more efficient with what you have um, that's remaining um, and automate it, and there aren't as many people in the process. So yes, that's definitely something that you know that we look at and look at closely, and try and figure out how to how to help our customers optimize that. Mm. But that that sounds like a tremendous job in itself, because I mean, basically, of course, as a company, you want to uh, preserve your. Uh, revenue, your profitability, right. you still want to grow because it's more fun to go to work when you grow than going <laughs> on the opposite route. Oh, yeah. So, uh, yeah, so it was just like, I mean, it, it, with a software company and, and the, and the placement you have in the market, it seems like a company that also, what, from what you say, has a focus on, okay, there is a future that might look different. And does that mean that you will also, when you look at acquisitions and, I, I'm not expecting an answer to that, by the way. But when you look at the future, do you see some kind of diversification in product offerings as part of, of where you see a company like BCC software? Uh, can I ask that? I'm not even sure I can because you can probably <laughs> not answer it. But, but I did anyway. I was just wondering because, I mean, it's, uh, for me, the, the logic must be that, okay, if, if we have a market that goes like this and we still have 75% that we can capture, okay, let's go right. find that. But on the other hand, it could also be great to see if there's a value added services right. around the mail that could right. be useful for BCC to enter right. into, right? Yeah. And, and, you know, the company doesn't just do the, the mail. There's, there's data services around it so that as oh, somebody okay. starts to go upstream with, with larger volumes, then their data services to, um, for them to, to buy, um, so that they can grow and get more value out of what it is they're doing. Yeah. Mm. To me, it sounds like a really interesting job you got yourself there, right? Yeah, yeah. It's definitely mm. a forward-thinking company, so I, I can't say a lot about that, but uh, you know me, I wouldn't be here if it wasn't going to be interesting. No, also because uh, you have been the face of uh, RSA for so many years that to take that step out of it, I think it must be... Uh, it's sad for them. It must be a tremendous <laughs> challenge for you, of course. Uh, and and uh, the, w the way I think of you is, is that you are very genuine in your way of communicating. So I think that you will, uh, I think that will be easy to see results of the effort you're doing. And that must also be satisfying when you get a job, if you can create yeah. positive results for your new, for your new employer, right? Yeah. <laughs> so um, when you, um, Will I see you at some of the trade shows with the yes. BCC? Yes, okay. yes. We will be at Printing United. Mm -hmm. um, we attend the National Postal Forum. So that mm -hmm. next year is in early June, the same time as the IPMA conference. So I can't mm -hmm. be in two places at once that the next year. <laughs> you but can yes, make, an avatar, make an avatar of yourself, <laughs> right? <laughs> well, the company's bigger than just me, remember? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's true. But if you want to be in both places, you need to have an average. I know. So, so, uh, so the, 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 the people that know you, they will still meet Alicia from, uh, from, from, uh, now from PCC software, uh, yep. Bluecrest company yep. and, and basically, uh, uh, have a good opportunity to learn more about the products and services. And I guess that yep. when I meet you at Printing United, you will probably know way more about your products and services than you do now, right? Absolutely. <laughs> mm. uh, Alicia, anything you want to add here at the uh, at the last minute here? No, other than to thank you so much for your interest in wanting to do this and, and 
reaching out and saying, Hey, let's talk. So you're, you're <laughs> that's, that's genuine as well. That. And I appreciate the chance to have this time with you. And, and Alicia, you know, that's my job. I mean, your job is to sell the uh, mailing and sorting software and services. My job is to talk to the right people in the industry and you're definitely one of them. So, uh, oh, thank you I, so just much. <laughs> I just wanted to say thank you very much for your time here on Inkish. And uh, I look forward to see you uh, in uh, Atlanta in uh, October. That would yeah. be fun. Yeah.